Hey everybody, welcome back to Chamberlain Family Farms. We're going to continue working on the greenhouse today. It's a beautiful day out. So as you can see, I put them up here on the top because all the water is going to come down here in this main grooves. Now, yes, there is some rubber. There is some rubber on this. So technically you could, but eventually that rubber is not going to last. It's going to rot off. It's going to crack and you're going to start having uh, wood rotten. But if you do it like this, there's less of a chance like that. Now on this front, I'm putting a screw in every one close to the edge because that wind, the wind's gonna come up right up under here and it's gonna try to blow this off. So you want as much strength as you can on your edges, including this edge. Now this, I may end up kind of rolling it down and attaching it, and I don't know, we'll see. And then as you can see, I left the screw off this one because we're gonna put another sheet over here overlapping keep the rain and then we got to overlap up here at the top too all right so this sheeting is called cover light now there's other brands besides cover light i'm sure but this is greenhouse roofing you can also put it on the sides which we are going to do everywhere there's a big hole gap this stuff's going to be in there because the more boards you put up which honestly i probably should have won about every other one took them off but they's worried about this tree limb coming down and it'd be safer to have more boards. So light's still gonna be able to get in, maybe not as much as it could without every other board, but so you just don't want to fill with as many boards as you can. You want as much light coming in the greenhouse as you possibly can. Damn, how to work. It is really muddy today. It's kind of hard to get that ladder position just right. You better be careful and not get hurt. favorite child. Alright, so used all the materials we had. That's all they had to store when mom went last time. But as you can see up there towards the front of the roof, you got a gap probably about foot and a half two foot so it's gonna take at least two sheets to fill in that and then we got to get another six sheets to go all the way around this thing at, at least so roughly eight sheets so hopefully they get that soon and it's already warming up in there even with these gaps what are you doing Patching holes. Why are you patching a hole? Because the goat's out in the field. <laughs> out in the bean field. Look! Hey, Gary! Well, it went up there! Yes! Yeah. I wish I had my fence bar. Daddy! What's him doing? He sticks in the fence. 
That's cinnamon. Don't be chasing them. Okay, kids, let's go back. Let's go back through the woods. Is it hard to go through the woods? No, go more. <laughs> Today, Philip. Well, we got the headlights in. And then this here is actually a baseboard heater in front of the metal. And all we did was uh, put a four bolts or screws in it, and then one bolt on each side and bend it. And now we're gonna do is hook that up. Then I think we're gonna put a strip of lights up here too. So everybody should be able to see what's going on. We hope you enjoyed watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.